Worldwide Technology provides technology solutions for large enterprises and public agencies around the world. Our goal is to help customers use cutting edge technology to realize business outcomes, and IT automation is a big part of that. Our relationship with Ansible is very strong. Our engineers have spoken at Ansible Fest and regularly contribute to Ansible meetups as well as the Ansible open source project. So we had three different reasons we looked at Ansible originally. Um, one was to remove non-value add work that's wrapped around user management, things of that nature. The second thing we looked at from an Ansible perspective or automation perspective was um, we were starting a Cisco ACI journey. How do we deploy Cisco ACI in a way that was consistent, reliable, and we trusted? The last one was I think about that was how do we make our engineers' lives better? Um, our engineers do a lot of work that's, um, again, non-value add, but takes time from them. So originally before we had Ansible, we had a number of different configurations management tools um, to do some level of automation. Um, the other thing we had a lot of was engineers having their own scripts, their own methodologies for running their own automations, but it was very siloed. So an engineer may have one automation, another engineer may have another automation. There wasn't a lot of sharing. One of the things that Ansible's really allowed us to do uh, is develop a common language around IT that works for people of all skill sets. Um, for people that are more experts in the operation specific uh, details of their jobs, they can continue to work at a very high level with the abstractions that Ansible already has in place. By contrast though, if we really need to dig under the hood and do something as a power user, uh, Ansible still relies on common tools like Python and PowerShell that people can still get into. And with our adoption of Ansible, one of the things that we saw is it did start slow. Um, first automations we had integrated with ServiceNow, we had a couple of them running a month, which provided value. Um, we've actually trended those automations month over month, and we've seen this tremendous growth one of the things we've done with that is we've looked at each automation we run, we calculate the amount of time it takes to run those, and then we've done a base value of uh, engineer hours to the hours saved. So we're calculating how much money we're saving and how many engineer hours we're saving based off of just that non-value add work. Adoption of, uh, again, Ansible and automation has been a real key thing for us being more efficient as an IT organization. As Ansible has become easier to adopt and more consumed by our engineers, it's now top of mind. So rather than maybe I'll automate, the question my engineers are saying is, how do I automate? One of the things we realized when we started using Ansible is not just the cost of what we were doing, but the opportunity cost of what we were leaving on the table. Now that we've started automating away the mundane, we're able to move the organization forward, working on initiatives like Cisco ACI, and do some innovative routing things with F5 uh, and other technologies that really leave our organization on the cutting edge. Because Ansible is so accessible, everybody's now speaking that common tongue uh, when they go to automate their stuff, and they're able to build more things uh, in more impressive ways uh, because they have so many more skill sets. 